Hi, it's Janet, and it's Writing Wednesday. I'm uh, up here at uh, the Squaw Valley Community of Writers uh, for summer workshop. Uh, I'm staying in a house with a bunch of other writers, <laughs> and uh, this is the way it goes at Squaw Valley. Uh, it's one of my very favorite things uh, uh, in the world. And uh, I was a participant here in 1995, and I met my editor here. Uh, he led a workshop, and um, I just thought, man, if I ever have a book, I'm going to send it to that guy. And uh, he was the publisher of White Oleander. So this is what it looks like out the window here. It's pretty groovy. The house is amazingly yeah. groovy. It's from the 70s, and I'm here with uh, Alex Espinoza, who wrote uh, Cruising, and uh, Greg Spatz, Oscar Villalon, who is um, uh, the editor of Zizifa magazine. I'm here with my husband, Andrew, who's a writer, uh, an agent named Peter Steinberg, a uh, bunch of writers who are coming in and out, and uh, we teach in the morning, we teach workshop. Uh, not every day, uh, because Squaw works in a really good way. You have the same 12 people in your workshop, but the, in, the leaders change. So you'll get writers, you'll get editors, you get agents, uh, all kinds of people. And I love it because teaching, you get a look at how other people teach. Uh, so you can think, oh, well, when I'm a teacher, uh, I'm going to have, um, I'm not going to do that, or I'm going to do that. You get exposure to other people's teaching methods. Uh, very useful. And the workshops become very tight, and they house people together, and they house the faculty together. So we're staying in this crazy ski lodge, which I have to show you what this looks like. <laughs> Is this fabulous? <laughs> I mean, how could you not love something like this? Hand built. Um, I love that fireplace. We've never actually lit that fireplace, um, but it's terrific. And um, we eat together at night. There are readings, faculty readings. There are alumni readings, and a lot of the faculty started as participants, and then they got books published, and they came back as um, as uh, alumni readers, and then they get hired to teach. So, and it, it's a uh, it's a sort of a brotherhood. I mean, I found that uh, I get to know people in the West because. I've met them at Squaw. California is a long, narrow state, and Northern California, Northern California and Southern California don't okay. come together that often. Right. We don't know the writers uh, in different parts of the state, but once you've been in Squaw Valley, that then suddenly you know the San Francisco writers and Sacramento writers and mountain writers and uh, people coming in from all over the country. It makes a really it makes a community. And when I go to a writer's event in New York, they're, it's like, oh, squat people. You know, I know you. I've, we've taught together. We've shared a house. We've had parties. We've been in the hot tub. You know, it's, uh, it really is a brotherhood. And there's still snow in the high country. So I've, I've taught my first uh, workshop, and then I have four individual workshops, that uh, four one-on-ones that I'm reading the manuscripts now. And I'm also doing a reading tonight for Times of Lost Cathedral. So my tour has begun, and uh, this is part of it. Um, so uh, how to be a good conference person, you know, is... is be prepared to go out and meet people and, you know, if there's a party somewhere, don't stay home. Uh, you know, you can do it at your own pace. I mean, we're at a mile high. It's uh, The altitude is pretty exceptional. But, you know, within the lev level of your st stamina, it makes a lot of sense to uh, see if you can participate. Um, so even people reading... 
this is people watching right now. Um, my the way I run my workshop, uh, we have two manuscripts, 20, 20 pages each, and what I do is I go around and ask people what they liked about the manuscript, and then one thing that would make it 100% better. So when you're in workshop, it's best not to, you know, completely overwhelm the person with critique, you know, of of various levels, you know, you know, don't don't nickel and dime them. Don't like talk about every last thing, you know. You can just do um, the tell them the most the thing that would help them the most, and then when they go around the circle, there are people who will discuss things that you did not. You don't have to completely, uh, you know, come up with everything. So I was a participant here. I stayed in a big house with other people, it was sort of the party house, and I'm, that's who I am. I like to stay in the house with a lot of people and uh, stay up late and get up early, hang out, uh, and try to get, you know, and get all my work done too. Um, and uh, see, you know, older faculty and people who I've known over the years, and then there's new people every time. Uh, they don't have, the instructors don't come every year. You go every other year, so you don't burn out. And I've been coming, I've been uh, staff here since 2002, uh, 2001, something like that, every other year. And uh, definitely part of my life. And just to get, you know, it's like going to camp. I used to go to camp when I was a little kid. And uh, being up here and smelling that pine, I can show you, you know, what it looks like out the window, but, you know, uh, you can't bottle that smell. It's so beautiful. So tonight I'm doing a reading of chimes and uh, my tour begins. Uh, I get back on the 16th and uh, my first stop is in LA on the 16th. Then I go to Dallas, Interbang on the 18th, uh, Atlanta on the uh, Houston on the 20 on the 19th. Uh, Atlanta on the 22nd. Then there's going to be a big event in Sacramento on the 26th that will be a benefit for Squaw Valley. Um, will be a stage, stage readings, an interview, and uh, vodka and music and souvenir glasses. Very fun. Uh, then to, uh, wine country, Calistoga, uh, Marin County, and uh, back to LA uh, for another reading at Romans. So two in LA and I hope you can catch one of the events um, but uh, I just wanted to check in and say hi for writing Wednesday not I haven't forgotten you entirely <laughs> uh, so this is really fun I hope the writing goes well um, doing a lot of reading uh, uh, this is all about chimes of the lost cathedral now there's uh, I'm working on some stories but um, you know July is going to be a big month for me so Hope the writing goes well, and uh, uh, any questions about Squaw or writing, you know, writing conferences?